Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I am Glam Preezy. Today we are going to be talking about my favorite products of 2017. Stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Happy New Year, it's 2018, and today we are gonna be talking about some of my favorite products from 2017, girl. So I have this huge bag next to me, and it is full of things that I love, love, loved in 2017. I thought that I would also throw in a couple of non-makeup favorites as well to talk about. Um, so without further ado, Let's get into this bag. In some of my videos, if you've watched me, I have consistently tried different setting powders. However, I don't know if I ever mentioned in any of my videos my absolute favorite setting powder of all time. And for that, it's going to be the Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. It's a colorless powder. It is truly translucent. And so that means for us, beautiful melanin infused girls like myself that this powder will not give you flashback it will not make you ashy this reminds me of the rcma powder that comes in the little shaker it's a similar product to that in that there is actually no color to this powder holy grail status right here and also i almost forgot to mention that you can set your entire face with this as well as you can bake your under eye with that this company, you guys, is the bomb, okay? Um, and that would be Juvia's Place. I cannot do a favorites video without talking about these two palettes right here. So these are the Saharan Blush um, palettes and they came in two different color schemes. The Saharan Blush Volume 1 looks like this and it is darker. Um, it's so beautiful. I'm just, I love this palette. Um, it has all the colors that I think would be essential for, especially a dark skin girl. You've got your highlighters, your blushes, and your contours here. I gotta talk about volume two of this, okay? I actually didn't think that I was gonna get as much use out of this one as I did the first one, and actually I ended up using this one more than the darker one. Believe it or not, okay, these blushes are so pigmented that they even work on my skin tone, and I actually ended up using B a lot. Oh, the Saharan Volume 1 and 2, oh my God, super in love with those. And moving on to some of the eyeshadow palettes, I mean, literally anything that Juvia's Place does, I love. Um, but I just wanted to mention a couple of the eyeshadow palettes, and I won't go into detail. But um, for example, the Nubian 2, which is this one. Um, you just get a great range of colors here. And as you can see, I hit pan here but I love the color selection. It's just really different and what they're really good at doing um, at Juvia's Place is giving you something that you haven't seen before. That combination of colors that's just not so typical, you know? So the quality of these pigments is super rich. Everything is amazing quality and the price point is unbelievable for the quality that you get with these. So I love Juvia's Place. Since we are on the subject of eyeshadow palettes that I was in love with for 2017, I obviously had to mention this. Like seriously, Jaclyn Hill? You did this one, girl. Um, I have literally not traveled at all in 2017 after I bought this palette without this palette. Like every time I've traveled, I've taken this palette with me if you don't wanna take a whole bunch of colors with you, this is like once and done. You have everything you need in here. All the colors are friendly to dark skin people. Um, there are mattes, there are shimmers, there are some glitters in here. Um, you've got your transition tones, your matte deep shades if you wanna do different color smoky eyes. Like this really, was one of my favorite products in 2017. I literally, I used the hell out of this palette in 2017. So, you did that girl. 
No, I so, could not have a favorites video without mentioning this woman, okay? And this is Huda Beauty, okay? But in particular, I love these little Obsessions palettes. Um, I never did go back and get the, um, I think it was Neon Obsessions. And it's a beautiful palette, but I just didn't see myself using it as much. But I have here the Warm Brown Obsessions, the Mauve Obsessions, and the Smoky Obsessions. These are phenomenal. I don't know if these were just for holiday, which I'm assuming they were. They were just $27 and they come with nine shades inside of there. And this is the Smoky Obsessions one. Um, they all have matte shades, transition colors, and um, shimmer. Pearl. So definitely had to mention these because I feel like if you didn't want to buy the full size palette, these are as good as those in quality and color selection. Obviously they are all themed, but they are incredible. $27, I mean, I've already had videos on these with me using them if you are interested in that, but oh my God, yes, honey. Yes, I have to have to have to have to have to have to, have to mention these. Up. And I feel bad because in the year of 2017, I actually didn't get to film. I don't think I filmed any videos using these products, but that does not mean that I did not use them off camera. Um, and that would be the Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. Um, I actually first discovered these January 2017 because I bought the Diamond Dust, which is the silver one, and they have a couple silver ones now, but this is the original silver one. I bought this for New Year's 2017. Um, and damn it was so beautiful if i have a picture i'll insert a picture of uh, me wearing this but i then went on to get rose gold retro there's a couple rose gold shades now that she uh, or that they have uh, but these two have consistently been my favorite shades that they offer experienced or if you are experienced and you just don't feel like dealing with loose glitter these are phenomenal I mean, the payoff looks like a loose glitter. However, it's in a gel base, so you don't have to do anything but open it up and paint it on your eye. I have been buying these lashes from the Creme Shop. Um, and I'm sure that you guys are familiar with Creme. They have lashes that have been sold in the beauty supplies and other makeup shops and places that sell um, some of the uh, eyelashes that are like on the cheaper side. These though are, I think they're premium um, La La lashes is what they're called. I have purchased Sally, Betty, Katie, and Katie I've purchased multiple times and I'm actually wearing Katie on my eyes today. For some foaming lashes, these are actually phenomenal. Um, I got it from Agachi or Agatsi, something like that. They sell these in my local um, store, but they do have them on the Agatsi website. Um, another pair of lashes that I did get from that store and that I have been wearing quite often. This is just one pair, but these are J Lash. and they all have names. This one's called Alexa, and they are $8.90. They are cruelty-free. It says that they're handmade, they are foaming. Um, they're definitely, but again, the company is called J Lash, and these I got from Agachi. I will have a link below so that you can check these out for yourself. I mean, one of my resolutions for 2018 is to stop buying expensive lashes. Like, honestly, I will spend $30, God knows, on a pair of strip lashes. And I think that that's ridiculous. Like, even though I might not care sometimes and I just like, forget it, these are beautiful, I just want them right now and I buy them, I just think it's ridiculous for a person like me because I wear lashes like almost every day. So for me, that's just a waste of money. It's not that serious and also, 
sometimes you don't know where these mink lashes are being sourced from and it may not be cruelty free it's awful you know what they do to those animals so i'm not saying i'm hating on mink lashes and that i'll never wear them again but i'm definitely saying that in 2018 i'm trying to stop buying expensive ass lashes number one and i'm trying to get on that faux mink bandwagon and these brands are pretty good if i buy lashes like this many times you know i like them so moving on girl i gotta sit back so in 2017, I discovered, okay, the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencils. You guys, you do not understand my love for these eyebrow pencils. So I used to exclusively use uh, the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it cost $25, I think, a pencil. And I was just going through them like water. So I say, you know what? To hell with $25, okay? Now if it's worth it, I will buy it. But if I can find something cheaper, please God, let me go for that instead. So I actually was at Ulta one time and I seen the LA girl stand. I was like, ooh, LA girl. So um, I checked these out and I think these are about $4. Dude, I have not turned back. I, I literally have not turned back. These are my favorite brow pencils of like ever, of all time, okay? They're not super waxy. They're not so smooth that they just kind of wipe off. They're actually kind of um, dry, which I like because if you're trying to create texture in your brow or if you just don't want your brow to come off if you're hot and sweaty and whatever, when I go to Ulta, I just pick them up. And if they're on sale, buy one, get one half off, girl, I'm going ham. Still talking about eyes. I thought I would mention one of my absolute favorite things in 2017, um, which is the Grande Lash MD. This is a lash growth serum, and I am an advocate for lash growth serums. Um, I used to wear lash extensions in 2016, and they really did a number on my lashes, so I really had to roll my lashes back um, and it's been a huge effort and I've tried everything um, including Latisse and this has really brought my lashes back to life and more um, and the reason why I wanted to mention this right after the brow stuff is because I actually do use this in my brows as well and this makes my brows grow you guys seriously it's not cheap, but it's worth it. It's so worth it. My lashes are longer, uh, fuller, shinier, stronger. It's just the bomb. It really is the bomb, you guys. So again, that is Grande Lash MD, and I got the Okay, guys, so let's talk a little bit about concealer. Now, I have a couple of different brands in front of me because I just couldn't make up my mind, okay? So I'm just gonna start from least expensive and go to the most expensive. So my first favorite is the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. You guys? This concealer is so bomb, okay? I was so surprised at this formula, the way that it performed, the way that it looked, and the way that it wore. Um, I believe that this is no more than $3 at the drugstore. The color, I think, is dark cocoa, and this is the darkest one that they make, which they need to step their game up. Let's not start talking about that, but they do need to step their color game up. Um, but this is so good. So on to the next concealer, okay? And I can't separate these two. They are the same product, but in different colors. These would be the ColourPop No Filter Concealers. And I have Deep Golden, and rich tan rich tan would be the color that i would put on for a nice natural brightness underneath the eye for like every day if you will it has a little bit of that peachy undertone so it's great for correcting if you have um 
really dark circles underneath. And then the deep golden I use as a highlight down the bridge of the nose and a little bit underneath the eyes to give me that nice bright under eye look. These concealers are $6 if I'm not mistaken and they are incredible. I have to make sure that I let you know, okay? No filter concealer is bay. Now, if you in the mood, okay, to spend a couple, two, three, 27, 30 dollars on a concealer, then you would definitely want to pick up the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is seriously, in 2017, I don't think that I've watched a YouTube video where the person has not used Shape Tape. Like, it literally took over the YouTube in 2017. This concealer is so bomb. Um, I have it in deep. Um, the only piece that I have to say about this concealer is if you are super dry underneath your eyes, please use a eye cream, a hydrating eye cream because these tend to run on the drier side. And that would be the Ordinary High Adherence Primer. And this particular package looks like hell because it is on its last leg. I actually just got a package in the other day with a couple more bottles of it. It helps to get rid of the look of any pores that you have. It helps make your makeup look super flawless and last longer all day and definitely feels more of a skincare than it does primer. This is bae. This is bae. So much so that I'm not even using like a fixing mist at the end of my makeup anymore. Um, it's four dollars. It's four dollars, okay? Get it, just get it. You will thank me. So I had to talk about this and it looks like death <laughs> and this would be my pat mcgrath black dual ended marker and this is a liquid eyeliner in the form of a felt tip but it is dual ended and the special thing about these two ends are number one is that they're very different so that you can get different effects um this end is super pointed and tapered but long enough um it's just it's perfect then the other end actually looks like a marker or a highlighter tip it is slanted and it literally looks like the tip of a highlighter um it is actually even thin enough to create a nice wing at the end but I am in love with this product and anytime you see me putting on liquid liner I bet you I was putting this on it's super dark black it's not shiny and it's not matte so it's in between in terms of finish you get a lot of product in this I still haven't replaced this one I have multiples of these it hasn't gone dry and I've had this particular one for quite a while um, if you want a really precise wing, you want this. A little um, bit of skincare. Um, I thought that I would throw that in there because this has not uh, failed me ever. And that would be the Clarins Eye Contour Gel. This is so bomb. If you suffer from puffiness of your eyes, this is it. It does say puffiness in dark circles. I don't really have dark circles, so I can't attest to that. that. Uh, oh my God. Okay, so I had to mention these because this is another one of those things that I always get questions about um, in my videos actually. And it's why do I use lip plumper? Okay, I like to enhance what the good Lord has given me, okay? and. I have, obviously I have lips, um, but I find that when I use lip plumpers, not only do they um, kind of smooth out those lines that you get in your lips, but it just gives a sexy fullness to my lips that I like. And as you get older, you do lose volume in your lips, no matter whether you're black or not. So if you use something that helps to keep your lips nice and smooth and plumped, then 
in my mind, I think that as I age, my lips will stay fuller. So some of my favorite um, lip plumpers in 2017 has to be the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plump Plumper, excuse me. Um, I get this from Sephora. Again, they do have their own website and it comes in like a push-up tube. It's clear, I get the clear one. And I just recently started using the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Thank you, Timely Infamous, girl. Okay. Do know that they have different ingredients, but what they do have in common is they both give you long-term volume in your lips. Okay, we're almost getting there, you guys. Um, I didn't wanna like rush through, but I just definitely wanted to give you all the products that I was loving in 2017, so stick in there with me. Um, I'm gonna talk about really quick something that I don't think a lot of dark skin girls talk about. I see some girls doing it, um, but a lot of dark skin girls I don't see using bronzer. And um, I had a question one time and somebody asked me why the hell I'm using bronzer, but you have to remember that even though we are dark skinned, we still want to look rich. Um, you don't wanna, there is a way that you can be dark skinned and look pale or you can look ash or you can look um like you haven't had any sun so favorite bronzer of pretty much all time however i picked it up a lot in 2017 is the bobby brown bronzer in deep number four and um but these particular bronzers just make me look rich, kind of like I've had some sun. Um, it gives me life to my skin. It makes me look even more chocolatey. I mean, who the hell wouldn't want that? And so my favorite drugstore bronzer has got to be the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer in Ebony Bronze. Come on, y'all. Let's not keep talking about this. You know what it is. Um, I have backups of this. I'm getting to the, I'm getting to the, the bottom of the bottom but i like to use all of this okay favorite bronzers of 2017 and pretty much so far of all time but again i reached for them a lot in 2017 collection here i have so many highlighters okay and it was actually easy for me to come to this uh, selection that I have here. So my favorite favorite lighter of 2017 has got to be the um, Clinique Uplighting Illuminating Powder in number three bronze glow. And it comes in a compact like this. Um, this compact actually has a mirror as well. And What's so special about this product to me is that it gives me the most natural on fleek highlight that I can get. So it's natural, but it's there and it's definitely apparent but without being too overpowering. So those days when I'm not like beat to the gods, but I still want my highlight on fleek, this is what I reach for. I get so many compliments on my skin when I'm wearing this highlighter and that's just it. People are complimenting my skin and not, oh, I love that highlighter. That's what you get with this. I reached for this probably more often than not. If I was going for a highlighter that I wanted to be like, okay, she has highlight on. Then I was reaching for the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Crown of My Canopy. And it looks like this. I don't even know if this camera is focusing well enough. But there are videos with me using these products. Um, this is a gold highlighter, but it has more of a copper undertone to it like it's almost a pinky gold it's not rose gold though it's not really rose gold but it has like that pinky peachy undertone and it's one of those highlighters that's super super smooth um and i like highlighters that just look 
really smooth, almost liquid on your skin. So again, that is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Pretty much all of the Mega Glow highlighters that I've seen are bomb, including the liquid ones, which I will do a video on soon. But Crown of My Canopy is by far one of my favorite highlighters of 2017. Now, here is the last highlighter, and I saved this highlighter for last in this category because I've got to say that this was by far one of the most shocking drugstore finds of 2017. And that has got to be the Maybelline Master Chrome um, Highlighter in 100 Molten Gold. You guys, if you did not get Whisper of Guilt from MAC, then go get this. This is giving me strong Whisper of Guilt vibes from MAC. Um, it's so inexpensive and it's so bomb. And if I'm not mistaken, they just actually released some more colors in this range, but it it's breathtaking. Like it's literally breathtaking. And you can alter this glow to be super on fleek or a little bit more natural, but definitely if you dampen your brush or dampen your face before you put this on, your highlight is going to be blinding, girl. And the thing that I like about this highlighter um, even more is that I've used this on clients that are fair and on clients that are darker than me, and it looks beautiful on everyone. Yeah, we're, getting, uh -huh. we're, we're killing the bag, we're killing the bag. Thank you so much for sticking in there with me to listen to all these faves. So let's talk about lip real quick, okay? So matte lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, uh, are my favorite. I'm not really a gloss girl. Some of my favorite lip colors of 2017 have got to be hands down, okay? Whirl from MAC. Um, I think this is a retro matte. No, this is just a regular matte. Um, this lipstick, I dare to say I never left the house without this lipstick. No matter what I actually had on my lips, I had to make sure that I had Whirl in my bag as a backup. Go get this. Go get Whirl. You will not regret it. Um, mention that I have consistently used throughout the year of 2017 was the Joy Lip Cream in Noisette. Now I know that I'm not pronouncing that right probably, but this liquid lipstick is my favorite liquid lipstick of 2017. Um, I'm wearing it today and it's just so comfortable to wear. It smells good. It doesn't crack. It doesn't get all crusty and ugly. And the color of it is so perfect. Like if you're a dark skin girl, go get this. Just, just go get it and thank me later. I don't have any particular color that I loved more than the other in these ranges, but I just wanted to say that the, uh, NYX liquid suede lipsticks my favorite um and then also had to mention the um nyx lip lingerie these are the ones in the clear tube they are the bomb you guys if you have not gone and got one of these you played yourself in 2017 you played yourself okay um if you are a chestnut or cork lip liner wearer you are probably married to those lip liners. I was at one point as well, but I have to mention that I have switched it up. Um, and now my favorite lip liner is Urban Cafe from NYX. This lip liner, pretty much if you're a dark skin girl, it goes with every lip color that you could possibly wear. Um, and it is a warm tone brown. It goes on very smooth and it is long wearing as well. We're almost done. We're almost, almost done. But no favorite video from 2017 would be complete without me mentioning this product, okay? This product would happen to be the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. You guys, do I even need to talk about? Like, I don't even need to mention uh, 
all of the great specs of this foundation because if you've seen my videos you've seen me use this and you know how i feel about this if you haven't check out my videos on this foundation um i'm wearing it today it is absolutely gorgeous um i am actually wearing it in the color 450 for reference it's just my favorite foundation. It does everything that I need the foundation to do and it looks amazing. It's bomb. Check it out. And the price point isn't bad. On to a couple more Fenty Beauty products that were faves in 2017 that I feel like I couldn't do my makeup without was the Matchstick Trio in Deep and that included espresso suede and cinnamon highlighting stick you guys there's a video of me talking about these already they're just genius first of all for a makeup kit they're genius for travel they're genius and for every day they're genius almost done with my makeup products but i had to mention this and you guys please excuse the fact that this is used because I just use this to do my makeup right now. This has got to be my favorite makeup apparatus of 2017. A lot of people have said, why are you using that one? This is the Real Techniques um, blending sponge, but the body version. And I have just noticed that when I do my makeup with this, this large one, I'm done in like two seconds. It's so big that you just, you like boop, 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 done. I love this thing. If Real Techniques is listening, please do a two pack of these or a multi pack of these because girls is out here using these on their face, yo. And I'm one of them, okay? This thing, I think maybe cost $7.99 and it is absolutely phenomenal. Last beauty product um i had to mention this this is the mario badescu facial spray or facial mist this is the cucumber one i've used the rose one and i've used the cucumber one i don't have a preference uh, there's no difference in the way that they work um i use this before i put my skincare on i use this uh, sometimes before I put my foundation on on top of my primer I use this after I put my makeup on um, to set everything I use this to refresh my skin in the middle of the day um, I use this when I don't have any makeup on at all this thing is just bomb okay first of all it is not a traditional makeup setting spray it's actually a facial mist so this is a hydrating facial spray and it happens that when you spray this onto your makeup after you finished all of your makeup it just melts everything in and locks it into place this is not intended to make your makeup last longer that's not what it's for but in some cases i actually find that this helps my makeup last longer because it helps everything meld together it kind of melts in the powders that you've used um, and everything on your face when you finish with your makeup it just locks everything into place and melts it all together if that makes sense um, another good thing that this does is you can put this on your brush for um, if you're gonna use your highlighter wet you can do that kind of like how um, I used to use fix plus um, you can also use this on your eyeshadows that are um, like dual chrome to make them more shiny. I'm getting down to those products that are not makeup related. So the first of which would be Creme de Nude um, Shade Scents from MAC. You guys, I've been through an embarrassing amount of these in 2017. Um, it's my go-to scent. Damn, it just smells so classy, I think. It just, it smells so good. And every time I wear this, I get compliments. And when I tell people what it is, they're like, really? Like looking at me like, girl, you wear MAC perfume? But yes, honey. Ugh. If you know me, you know that I am a avid uh, fragrance wearer and connoisseur and just because this is from MAC doesn't mean anything. Okay, I had to mention this in this video because 
in real life on social media on my youtube i always get comments about my teeth people constantly ask me if i have my teeth whitened um i got a comment one time that asked me did i have veneers um and my answer is no and no i've never gotten my teeth whitened professionally um I don't have veneers. I've never done anything to my teeth that's outside of normal dentist um, appointments. And um, I have to attest a lot of it to the products that I use on my teeth, obviously. And you will be shocked that it's not a professional product. It's not super expensive um, and it is readily available and this would have to be the Walgreens brand, okay, Radiant White Fluoride Toothpaste. I don't ever use any other toothpaste. Never. Um, except sometimes when I'm traveling because they don't come in travel sizes, not that I found. I sometimes have my family in other states scouring their Walgreens looking for extras of these and I just moving on again I always 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 get questions about this my friends my family random strangers at a bar uh, <laughs> when I'm on vacation it doesn't matter where I am people always ask me how in the hell do I get my skin to be so soft and honestly, I wish that there was a more complicated uh, secret to it, uh, but there really isn't. And I'm gonna tell you a couple of products that I use to maintain really smooth, soft skin. Now, obviously genetics have a lot to do with it, but I am going to tell you that I do suffer from eczema and sometimes other random skin rash issues and my skin by no means is perfect. And I will be honest, sometimes I don't even know why my skin is so soft. But my favorite, favorite body scrub like ever in life has got to be the Trader Joe's Lavender Salt Scrub. Um, this thing is like $4, uh, maybe six because of tax, I don't know. Uh, this is the answer this is the answer this scrub is so good and if you don't like lavender i feel bad for you i don't know what to tell you uh, i don't think it comes in any other scent this stuff is so bomb okay and i do use it multiple times a week um i use it on my feet i use it on my entire body uh take it easy because it is salt it's not sugar so the pieces are kind of jacked it has sweet almond oil as the second ingredient so there's sea salt and then sweet almond oil and we know all the benefits of sweet almond oil and if you don't please google it because sweet almond oil has tons of vitamin e and, and vitamin a and other ingredients in there that are really good for the skin um, it also has sunflower seed oil there's lavender oil pretty high up grape seed oil, apricot seed oil, avocado oil, green tea, St. John's wort. Like this stuff is really, really bomb. I just, I could sit here and talk about how good this is all day, but please go get yourself some of this from Trader Joe's. Honestly, I might've been using this for longer than um, just this past year, but I renewed my appreciation for this product in 2017 the nivea essentially enriched body lotion lotion is so good anybody that i've had try this stuff is now hooked on it um when you first use it you'll be like what the hell this is super thick but what i have learned is when you put this on while your skin is still damp it absorbs and it feels a little bit more thin. Um, I actually keep one in my shower and I put it on before I exit the shower while my skin is still damp. And that's a it's a great key if you're suffering from super dry skin. I used to uh, live in Chicago. I'm from Colorado, so I know all about being ashy, okay, and dry. This is it. This is the end. Um, 
Another consistent thing that you're going to find with this and with this is that this has sweet almond oil in it. And perhaps that really just does something for my skin, but this is bae, okay? I got them in the travel sizes for when I travel, but I always come back to this lotion. Always, always, always. And I personally believe that this has been a key to keeping my skin so soft. And it also has sea salt in it, which is fantastic for your skin. It exfoliates it and helps for, with skin cell renewal. So these two things, go get them. Go get them. Just go get them. Anyway, thank you guys so much for sticking in to this long ass video. I just really wanted to be thorough and talk about things that I think, first of all, are dark skin girl friendly and things that have become bay for me in 2017. Just because they were 2017 does not mean that they are outdated or that they won't translate well into 2018 girls. So go get some of them, especially the skincare products. In 2018, we will have lots of prosperity and lots of fruitfulness for all of our families and everything that we are trying to do, um, especially for women of color. I wanted to say a special encouragement. Keep your head up, keep going after your dreams. Um, you know, you never know what could happen. You just gotta stay open and stay positive. Um, and in 2018, may you see much much success and many blessings. Thank you so much for watching my channel and for sticking in there, listening to me talk about my makeup addiction. And I hope you guys like my little background here. We're not gonna be in here doing makeup now.